time to use our imaginations. Time to turn on that engine inside of us that can imagine, that can see color inside your heart, that can imagine seeing a dragon manifest, seeing it blow out fire if you want, or having him holding a, a lasso and lassoing a diamond that was tossed from a red sea. Whatever you want to imagine. Turn on that part of you right now. Now is the time. And also, now is the time to turn on our analytics. Right? We've been thinking in terms of square. We've been thinking in terms of picture plane. We've been thinking in terms of working within that square rectangle frame, that grid frame, you know, the structure, that template. And now I, I want us to still, you know, we'll, we'll always have a focus because, you know, that shape is just, it's with us, you know, we use it as a point of measure and as a guide and, and it works well with the science of perspective, so we honor it, or I honor it. Right. So that's the, the square, the rectangle. And that's the the thing that we've been looking at in terms of just, you know, helping us find that glass of water study, helping us find our full figure in perspective. Or for some, we're using the square to see what our hand may look like. You know, how deep is our hand? How wide is our hand? What is the length of our hand? our hand fit into a box, what size of a box would that be? You know, these questions, you know, we're, we're turning on the, that, that engine, you know, trying to break down and see things in a square, right? We think about a square and then a box, right? Box you know, all these, you know, rectangle, you know, you know, it's like rectangle is in the square family, you would say. You know, we're just working within these concepts. And now we're going to kind of reach further in. And I'm introducing everyone to this artist or, you know, um, my, my Art 15 Group 1, I'm introducing you to Ad Reinhardt, and he is, uh, he's known as an abstract expressionist painter, um, but uh, for now, and I chose him because, you know, in particular, he was an abstract expressionist painter who, you know, he really spent a lot of time studying the square, you know, um, and he would make these solid black paintings of the square, or, you know, just solid paintings of the square to almost exercise this curiosity that we have. And not, and not only a curiosity we have, but this necessity we have to continuously understand and build our re relationship with the square or the rectangle, these four, four points, you know, that, that give us guide and measure.
help us see see things um, in dimension see things uh, with um, perspective and uh, more clarity you know so Ad Reinhardt was an artist who uh, was you know conceptually you know building building this um, these curious forms of questioning you know and um, for a period of time he he was hired to create um, art uh, cartoons like comics about art and I want us to look at them you know for this time period uh, and what we're going to do with Ad Reinhardt is we're going to use this as an opportunity to transition, right? We've been doing a lot of um, observational drawing, and we've been doing a lot of um, also experimenting with materials, um, you know, pushing, you know, outside the box um, thinking, but really focusing in on um, op- observation. All right, so now we're going to segue into another realm. And this realm is going to be even more into the realm of imaginative and also more in the realm of working from within and out, you know, rather than outward in, you know. Right, so we're going to just be looking and kind of switching our body gears and acknowledging that that we're going to turn turn on that imagination and we're going to acknowledge it, right? And we're going to, you know, um, you know, look at um, artists who acknowledge um, the um, subconscious realms. We're going to look at artists who acknowledge these realms that come from the inside, you know, and and we're going to acknowledge artists who work from that preset, you know, um, and still um, acknowledging um, this, uh, uh, you know, all of the elements and principles of design and still really understanding you know, um, all the different ways that we approach drawing, you know, as a tool, you know, as a way to develop ideas, as a way to develop our own um, um, visual concepts, you know, our way of seeing um, our unique perspective in the world. You know, drawing is a tool to allow us to understand our place here. And from that, we can use drawing as a way to uh, create a a vision for ourselves. You know, and with that vision, you know, drawing has a way of, of finding ignition if you let it. So drawing is is very powerful. So we're we're gonna be turning in, turning on, you know, turning in that you know idea of giving in to this, where we are gonna turn on our imaginative engines, right? And we're gonna just kind of fall into it, um, and also. We're going to continue to um, think um, in an observational way and also in an analytical way as we, you know, use our analytics to um, decide how we are technically agile with our materials and how our breath is in terms of um, our confidence in our use of material and that relationship we have with what we are, with, you know, 
what the, the goal is, you know, and how comfortable or not comfortable we are with this process, you know, and, you know, we're, we're always, I'm always, BDJ, Professor BDJ is always asking to pay attention to um, these intervals, to call it that, because we're really looking for steady breathing and paying attention to our breath and also paying attention as best as possible to accepting the challenge right before you, you know, the drawing challenge, you know, and, and, and I like to think about all of my drawing assignments that I give out as a um, kind of, you know, uh, for those that are familiar with, you know, music, Thelonious Monk, you know, how, you know, if, if Thelonious Monk was, you know, you know, why he, why he gets to be a Thelonious Monk and play this beautiful riff of music is because he just, you know, he studies his notes every day, you know, and these drawing exercises, you know, are us studying these notes so that we can, you know, allow ourselves to um, riff, you know, into our own, you know, Thelonious Monk. You know, Thelonious Monk is a wonderful uh, visionary. And, you know, we all have um, that visionary in us, you know, and through drawing and through kind of allowing for this fantasy to surface within the confines of a drawing, you know, during the, the confines of this you know, acknowledgement that we are turning on our imagination and we're allowing our our hand, our eye, and the tools that we're using, we're allowing whatever manifests, however abstract, however analytical, however it looks. We're going to allow for whatever comes and we're going to allow our imagination to surface from within. So this is what we are turning on today, October 31st.